Hello everybody and I welcome all of you to my channel Learning with Swara. So in today's video we're going to be starting our JavaScript tutorial. Now this, this series could be a very interesting series for you because after every single video you will have some exercises given for you in the description. So you can go and check those exercises so that you could master your programming because pro, uh, programming is not something that you will just learn you have to practice it you have to practice it as much as you can so uh, let us start with the JavaScript now what is JavaScript now now uh, JavaScript uh, if, if I if I don't go in depth and just I just conclude in uh, one sentence JavaScript is a scripting language that turns you static pages into some dynamic one like a moving a skeleton HTML and CSS are skeletons of your web page a skeleton will not move JavaScript adds the movement the actions to your web pages now it's it it acts a concept of dynamic thing in your web page whatever actions you do you do because of that JavaScript thing let us start with the first topic in JavaScript uh, variables now variables uh, the first thing for us uh, I want to make this video compatible to every single one either you're a beginner intermediate or advanced level programmer so a variable is something that holds some value like uh, for example if you want to store some name somebody's name if you want to store somebody's username somebody's password so you're gonna take a variable you're gonna store the value you're gonna take those, that value and store it in some alphabet that we call as the variable now the name variable is given here uh, due to the reason that its value can be changed in the future so there is a concept of constants also uh, constants are those variables whose value cannot be changed you cannot call them variables actually uh, to make you understand I said that so they work as same as variables but you cannot change them so this is the syntax of a variable as shown here this is the syntax of a variable now variable its name is equal to the value what all types of value a variable can have now that leads us to the topic of data types and primitives in JavaScript in totality there are seven data types in JavaScript we will discuss them one by one and I will provide you with the uh, practical demonstration uh, uh, besides going for theoretically for every single data type the first one we will start with a number data type so uh, in order to like in order to run your JavaScript script you don't need a particular interpreter because uh, you already have into your computers for example your browsers are itself interpreters for your scripting code for example if I open here Opera Mini uh, I will tell you open the Opera Mini okay Now, if you click on options, if you click on this logo, if you click on this logo and go to developer, developer tools, you will have this console. You may have in the some different way, but you will have this type of console. So in this console, we are going to have are variables working here so I as I told seven types seven data types in JavaScript the first one is a number so a number type can hold this amount of values these values it can have so we will discuss them one by one and I will show you practically onto your screens you can see the first one is a normal okay uh, okay sorry and okay the first one is a normal number now the normal number now what do I mean by that normal number any number so f var num is equal to 10 normal integer the first one is there it is now if I print num I'll get the 10 okay that's very simple now coming to the next one is your uh, decimal number the decimal numbers are those which have some fractions within them maybe the value of pi maybe 3.14 Oh, sorry I have uh, taken num is equal to 3.14 is that uh, first uh, notice that f initially I have given num as 10 now I have taken num equal to 3.14 let's check the value of num 
it's 3.14 uh, that's what the definition of a variable is it could be changed at any instance of time or coming to the next one uh, next one is your <coughs> hexadecimal I could say now you can take var hex is equals to you're gonna take uh, 0 you're gonna take x for hexa now you're gonna write your hexadecimal number like this you got it you got it. you print it you get your hexadecimal value now this is the hexadecimal number for octa you're gonna take same like that but in place of 0x you're gonna take 0o that's very simple now next move to the next one the infinity now uh, if you can also have infinity so infinity is something that goes forever but in programming language you can break that infinity using a break statement so don't worry about that and I'll discuss about that infinity discuss about those that infinity when you move on to the control statements and they could be a negative infinity also and they could be NAN which stands for not a number anything other than a number is NAN okay for example, if you're telling the user to enter a number, but he's entering something other than a number, then he will it will return an NA and not a number thing. So nothing much about that. Okay, let's come out of it, come out of number because we have seen numbers and move on to the next type that is a string. Now the strings in JavaScript can be defined in three things, can be written in three things. So what is a string? A string is a collection of characters, a collection of alphabets that forms a word that has some meaning, right? And a string could be in double quotes, single quotes or it with backticks. Now the backtick is something you can see there on the keyboard. That is a backtick. Now let me, let me demonstrate you why name is equals to Faraz single quote and I'm done with this name now I got my name that was about single uh, single uh, single single quotations now name is equal to if you take it in double quotations done name got it var name is equal to backtick name backtick sorry backtick close got it now Okay, so uh, there is another, there has to be a specific video for strings because I'm going to make it because there are so many useful things that we have to do with the string. Either it could be regular expressions or working with the methods, inbuilt methods of string. Um, I'll show you in the advanced JavaScript video. So for now, just remember that as a data type, for, as a data type, remember this for string. That is enough for enough that is more than enough now coming to the next type that is an object and that is one of the important types in javascript i could say because an object uh, if you are a if you're familiar with c language or c plus plus you you have a concept of structures there and the structure what you do you combine all the data types to form your own user defined data types such that if you, for example if you want to have a student data type you will take name you will take name as a string uh, age as a number of very uh, or integer so mixing all those data type into one structure it creates a structure so in javascript it is the same as a structure in c language so an object in javascript can store different types within itself we can access we can add the things into it and we can remove the things from it so what is the syntax the syntax for us uh, is shown here you're going to take var object name is equal to curly brace open write your things curly brace close now Right you think curly brace close. So for uh, so come to the screen and let us see the demonstration here. Va. Uh, next is object name that is obj. I'll take is equal to open and close this one. Now I want to take name here colon. Colon I want to put my name. Don't put semicolon here put a comma. Age. <laughs> put anything age for age comma next uh, I wanna put see I'll scroll it down so that you can see now marks uh, 80 something like that so put a semicolon here so you have sub success so you have successfully created our structure now how do you access the elements of the structure you will take a structure name dot sorry dot name you got it uh, no got it now what do you want age got it marks got it so this is how the structure works so if you, if you want to add something like for example if I uh, if I want to add my phone number into that I could add object dot phone is equal to I'll give some number some number so now if I call if I see object it could have that phone you can see uh, you can see that phone you can see that phone there 
So that, that's how you can add things to your structures. So just a very important JavaScript. So you have to be thorough with that. So go with those exercises so that you could master the structures, uh, objects. I mean, uh, that that's objects in JavaScript. Now, next thing is your null data type. Null means not yet assigned. Nothing to discuss more here because control statement, control, control statement. Again, I'm going to be discussing that. Now coming to the next one is your Boolean data type. Boolean data type is a type that holds either true or false. Now you, 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 you might be wondering how we are going to use that. The, the, we're going to use them in the control statements. For example, if a condition is false or true, because boolean data types are usually used in the control statements uh, it could have for example if i take va uh, t is equal to true sorry true print t you got true i could change the t to false it could have only either of these two values boolean so again in the control statement i will be demonstrating more about this now coming to the undefined now undefined in short is something that is not yet initialized for example come here var i take un i print un that is undefined that is undefined the difference between null and undefined is that this undefined is given by the uh, interpreter or the browser itself but null is something that you define for example see if, for example you define this you get now so that's a very minor difference the last data type is your symbol now the symbol is something which gives a unique identity to us a variable and whenever you compare two symbol it is always going to say no they are different from each other that means it is going to return false come here see var s1 is equal to sym symbol and you close it this is called a constructor I will demonstrate it soon what a constructor it is a method and build method actually you have created one symbol var s2 is equals to symbol of 2 now if I compare s1 is equal to s2 that is a comparison operator I'm coming to see you can see false the moment I type 2 you get false because they are not same every symbol is having its own unique identity false I can also do this symbol of anything I could put anything here just for reference again if you compare s3 with s2 sorry compare s2 s1 always false